Today is May 11th, 2020, and the provisional end of the corona pandemic lockdown in France. But it is still compulsory to wear a mask and not allowed to travel more than 100 kilometers. As I didn't have any mask, I sued one myself, military style, sort of familiar with the colors. Funny though, that the end of the pandemic coincides with the end of another pandemic, which the jaywalkers celebrate also on May 11th today, the Lac Baomer. Because almost 2000 years ago, in the second century, it was the end of the plague that had killed 24,000 followers of some jaywalker mystic. Maybe that's why the traditional bonfires to kill the rest of the germs and burn their clothes which they actually still do today. Here you can read about it here. Um, other issues raised include the practice of throwing clothes into bonfire, which is perceived as wasteful. Well, and here it says again, the plague had that decimated Rabbi Ekaiva's 24,000 disciples was explained as a veal, uh, you know, uh, reference to the revolt, the 33rd day when the plague ended. So they really ce celebrate the end of a, um, of a pandemic. And it's the same day as it's happening today here in France, 2000 years later. And here it says again in Wikipedia, Another reason for why Jews celebrate Lak Ba Omer is that it marks the day that the plague had killed Rabbi Akiva's 24,000 disciples uh, came to an end. You see, they, that, that's why they burn their clothes, eh? To get rid of the, um, of the germs. What a coincidence, celebrating the end of a pandemic still being celebrated today and happening the very same day our pandemic in France officially ended. What a coincidence. Only mathematically calculating chance probability, this is hardly a coincidence that from 365 days in a year, it happens on the very same day. So that gives one chance on 365 which is still feasible. But the fact there's also another factor in common will have chances reduced to a minimum, namely the probability of celebrating the very same reason out of thousands of other possible reasons and both celebrating the end of a pandemic, for which let's say one chance in a thousand that both May 11th concern the same issue, which gives us 365 times 1,000 is one chance in 365,000 that today's end of lockdown coincides with a festivity celebration and the end of another pandemic, which was the plague. So what's going on here? Why didn't the French lockdown end at an easier date, like May 1st, beginning of the month? And why does it have to coincide on May 11th, Lac Baomer, Jaywalker celebration? And who has the power to do so? Well, Pharaoh, of course, and the proofs are in the name, as usual. As Ba means the soul when dead, as in the everlasting soul. And it has to do with death and people dying of the plagues. Therefore, Ba in Pharaoh's demotic language. Also, there is Mer, meaning a pyramid. And the O in the middle is demotic Ha, for big or pregnant. So you see how the Ba, it stands apart and Mer, it's also apart. And this might be the compass, you know, the circle. And this is the seal of Solomon, and Solomon was a king, and all kings and queens, all of pharaonic descent. 
So Lag Ba Omer means Sol Ba, pregnant A, pyramid Mer. Sol pregnant pyramid, meaning the soul gets born in the pyramid, which is the same as Ba for Me of the Knights Templars for Ba Fa Me. Soul arrives pyramid. The soul arrives in the pyramid. Same thing. And watch this film here where you can see an actual Templar initiation ritual going on. In Switzerland, of course, the base of octagon of the Satanic Knights Templars and the Nazi Templars. So here's the title, just punch it in. And I could also translate the word lag from lag ba omer for you, if I had my academical books with me here. So lag ba omer is nothing else than an old pharaonic festivity, which the jaywalkers follow as they were 430 years slaves of Pharaoh, still obeying the rules of Pharaoh today. Just as we, Pharaoh's white European slaves, who are released from two months house arrest on that very same day of Ba Ahmer on May 11th, 2020, we're all in the same Pharaonic slave ship, all peoples of the world. And I wonder, would they tell another 2,000 years from now? Well, probably not what I'm telling you now, that's for sure. Pharaoh rules the planet, and today's system has been made by their Templars, the Templars of Pharaoh and Pharaoh's financial, political and military order. Therefore, two years ago, their CIA, NSA and their new three-letter company, the NRO, for National Reconnaissance Office launched a spy satellite to control their human livestock and feudal property of Pharaoh's aristocracy with a Templar on it saying Mali nunquam prevale bunt, evil will not prevail, which is inversed speech as they turn everything around saying we the people are evil and not them. And why would the CIA drug import machine send a Templar in orbit in the sky when there is not some sort of a link between the CIA and the Templars? Well, there is. The CIA belongs to the Swiss Octagon Templars, which I explain in this video here, punch in the, uh, the title. And I explain it in my video series in three parts, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. Interesting, the word reconnaissance comes out of the French naissance for birth. And connaissance, 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 mean, meaning knowledge, out of the Latin con, meaning with, and naissance for birth. Altogether, connaissance with birth. I made this film about it like six years ago. Here's the title about the NROC. Uh, it has all pyramids and the all seeing eye, you see. This is also NROL. It says N R O. And that was already like six years ago. Right? So it's in my channel, Hatsefrat. So you punch in the title. I had more on my channel, Guru, but okay. So, only with noble birth, real knowledge is acquired. You get born with it. And re means again in Latin, as in recon reconnaissance, reconnaissance, the once more gathering of knowledge for those of noble birth. As the Templars were all of noble birth and originated from France, therefore the French word, Reconnaissance, reconnaissance. And here you see the Enroll 39, that was in 2013, I think, or even before, oh yeah, 2013. I immediately made that film about it on my channel, Gatsefrats, because it shows an octogon, which is, you know, holding the entire world in their grip. An octopus, 
or octagon. And an octopus has uh, has eight uh, had eight arms. Okay? So this is a typical reference to octagon, of which you can find more in my film Octagon: The Empire of Darkness. So this is all enrol. It's all octopus templars. And there was this guy in America. I, I can't recall his name. Um, they killed him, I think, in the in the nineties or something. He had an Italian name, and he was after he was a journalist, and he was after the uh, the secret organization called Octopus. I'll have a look if I can find it. Okay, so the Enrol, the uh, National Reconnaissance Office. It's only for the ones who are of noble birth, who are really who are born with the knowledge with the reconnaissance if you like so here i found it for you here it says the secret government and the death of danny casalaro here you can see him in his bathtub they suicided him the octopus conspiracy so this is octogon uh, that will explain you all about it i don't know where it happened why when it happened so so here it is, Octogon, the Empire of Darkness, on my channel, Gats of Gats. I had, a, I had a much bigger one on my channel, Gyuri, but they deleted the whole channel, as you know. It's gone. And this is interesting too. I was in Auschwitz, here you see also the Octogon. And I got arrested by the Octogon police with Octogon badges in Auschwitz. So they don't like people like putting their noses too deep in it because um, it's big business nowadays, Auschwitz, as it was during the war. Nothing has changed um, through that octagon badge. I could see it's the same ones who killed all those people in there. They're still making a lot of money with it. They're all the whole town is living on it. You know, the hotels, the bus companies, the restaurants and the, everything, you know. So I put this sign on the uh, on the railway um, wagon where they transported the people with, and it says um, um, uh, Switzerland uh, Auschwitz made in Switzerland. You'll see it in the film. So just punch in this title and this title here. And also Anthony Fauci is of Swiss descent, with his maternal grandfather born in Switzerland, who made graphic designs for commercial labels, probably with the concepts of three and four triangles and circles hidden in it. Here you can see that. So his maternal grandfather, Giovanni Abyss, was born in Switzerland, and he was a, an artist for landscape portrait painting and he, he was working for graphic design for commercial labels where for which they have their own people you know so the, they can put all the triangles and circles and everything pharaonic pyramids and concepts of three and four in it it needs to be one of them for the logos uh you'd say but oh yes but only one quarter is from Switzerland, only the from his maternal grandfather well the thing is this Swiss part will become the most dominant, as here the legacy of the Templar Octogon bloodlines and its knowledge and affiliations get transmitted. The rest and other three quarters of his ancestry is just some earthly vehicle or earthly vessel. Considering the mental dominancy providing the main characteristics of the personality that basically absorbs the rest of the inferior bloodlines like a virus taking over his host. And here you can see this, somebody's tried to, to sell, but it's, probably, it's like the grandfather of Fauci who was making these sort of logos. And here I found someone who's trying to sell this, you know, and what does it have in it? You know, Templar V, the circle for the compass and the concept of three in a pyramid, which also stand for the compass and the old world order. That's them, because this is the pyramid. It's the hierarchy, which is them. So the concept of three is here, right? The circle, 
And here, one, two, three, in blue for the war. It's a war against us. And three is the color red. And this is almost like white because the Templars, it's the constitution. They made the, took the constitution. So this is white. And this here, the concept of three, the pyramid stands for red, the Pertasser, old world order. So there's something missing. There is no concept of four, which is us, the square, the, uh, the base of the hierarchy, considering the pyramid, you know, the base of a pyramid. So, but it is here, people. Just look well, Just look carefully. Where is it? Where is the concept of four? Us, the slaves, the feudal slaves, white slaves, jaywalker slaves, African slaves, Asian slaves, Muslim slaves, we're all slaves. Where are they? Come on, people, where are they? Well, here you are. It says here, earthly vessels. There you got your concept of four, because the concept of four is the base of the pyramid, the square, which is us. We're nothing but earthly vessels to them. You know, they're, they're taking over the host, you know. This is what they do. So they all see square, this is square and compass. It's all in it. And they tried to sell it. So if you want to buy it, go ahead. Even some rappers, African American rappers like KRS One. And guess where the one here, where, to, where that is a reference to, eh? the one and only. Uh, even KRS1 is having a total pharaonic Freemason logo in his rampant agency or ramp agency with a golden pyramid out of four parts for the concept of four, standing for the square and the pyramid triangle itself for the concept of three, symbolizing the compass and our masters with a slight circle in it for the compass, which can be obtained with the compass, with the whole logo in a black square. So all initiated immediately read square and compass. Because if you don't make the alliance with evil, you simply will not get there. And only here's where the money flows. If you make that specific turn at the crossroads, well, I'd rather be poor, I'll tell you that. And talking about poor, I'll be back in the streets again soon, as the French communist wants his privacy back, which is understandable. After me having been here for four months, offering you many, hopefully, interesting videos, of which I could offer you hundreds more if I'd have the place to work. But unfortunately, the French are not at all as solidary as they wrongfully present themselves as revolutionary, French revolution scam and yellow vests. In reality, it is everyone for him and herself. And they hate Americans here unless Americans come and die for the Frenchies, as France was liberated twice in two world wars by the Americans. All in vain. You shouldn't have done it. Frenchie didn't deserve it. As I always hear them say terrible things about Americans, you have no idea. It is not as in Saving Private Ryan, Band of Brothers, or some presidents gathering once a year on Omaha, Omaha Beach in Normandy on June 6th, pretending that the French are grateful for the ultimate sacrifice and will never forget the American liberator heroes. It is not at all like that. As I speak French, I never heard a single positive word or a thing or a tiny bit of gratitude concerning Americans. I'm very disappointed by the selfish attitude here in France and it's full of cliches about everything and everyone. To me, having lost my grandfather in 1942 for this so-called liberty, this is double shocking to hear them talk here in France in this manner on their liberators. Unbelievably shocking and utter lack of honour 
and respect. They did forget about it, I, I tell you, what I hear every time. Except for the last four months, I slept outside in France for five years, in spite of the fact my grandfather, an officer in the Royal Navy, paid the ultimate sacrifice for their liberty here in France. I wish he hadn't. So this here, merci or merci, it just sounds nice, you know, and here, thank you, we will never forget. I never heard any positive word, you know, concerning the Americans. It's all, well, they, it's all negative, right? Eh? It's, it's a lie. Mercy, thank you, we will never forget. It's just a plain lie. It, it just sounds nice, eh? I guess it will take another five years again before I'll have the domestic occasion to make more videos for you. And more and more of my videos get deleted on all my channels recently, like this one about the French virologist with a skull and bone Freemason signet ring on his pinky finger. Here's the title. Yeah, look, May 9th, May 8th, here, this is the other one, is 1st of February. Uh, your, content, your content violated. I, I don't even decision on your video appeal. Your, your video has been taken down and so on and so forth. And I don't even know why. I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, look, it says, um, hi, uh, our team has reviewed your content and unfortunately we think it violates a harmful and dangerous policy. So showing a Freemason signet ring on a French professor uh, about the, uh, the coronavirus, they find it harmful and dangerous. <laughs> so amongst uh, other videos, there was this video showing here a skull and bones uh, ring on this, um, this guy who's, who's all over the media every day in France um, concerning the corona. So here it says, removed. And this here was the... Uh, that was the title of it. Or this one on my other channel about the threats by some German military enterprise and some cyber criminals, most likely related to the Swiss, policing for profit, stealing your money by posing in my name. You can see that removed. And it's on my other channel, Homeland Security. And there are many more they deleted. My film, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil, doesn't get shown at all anymore. If you punch the entire t title in there. Although hundreds of other videos with like 50 views pop up. They just buried my videos because Octagon in the Alps doesn't want you to see them. I really don't know what I did wrong to deserve my videos deleted until I realized there was a mutual intel on both videos about me showing that in all Nazi logos and flags it has the Freemason concept of three and four integrated in their symbols, flags and insignia as being the common factor in both videos. So this is what I showed in both videos, you know, both videos have it. So this is why they deleted them. So this flags of the brown shirts here, the stormtroopers, it has a circle in here for the compass. With a compass, you can make a circle. And this horrible symbol here, it has four times a square here, square here, a square here, a square here, four times with a concept of four. That is us. We die in black. Okay, so all, all of them who are initiated, they all read immediately square and compass in the Templars' colors, white, red and white. And I showed you some more in both videos, some more insignia of the Nazis 
as the symbol of the storm, the uh, the logo of the uh, stormtroopers. Um, well, I'm not, I'm not going to show it again. Eh? I'm not, I'm not going to make a remake here. It's gone. So uh, I hope you still have it somewhere. Someone doesn't want you to know that the Nazis, in fact, were Freemasons who come out of the Knights Templars, as in Nazi Templars of Octogon. So you see here the square, it's a square and compass, the square, which you find here again, the square. There is the square. This is the same one here as this one here. And they all see it. And even if they don't see it, they're all full of demons. The demons will lift the veil for them immediately. This one here is a compass. You can make a circle with it. Now well, here's the circle. These are the ones. And the Freemasons here with their square and compass, this is 90 degrees and this is 60 degrees, they come, they come out of the Knights Templars. And these ones here, they were and they still are the Nazi Templars. And this is what the enemy within, a very powerful organizations and octagon in the Alps, they don't want you to see. And this is what I, sh what I had shown in both videos about this here. So this is why I had both videos on both my channels deleted. So open your eyes and I'm not going to show it all again, which was deleted in a remake. I just hope you have them downloaded and re-uploaded on some other platform. If not, they'll be gone forever, as many of the hundreds of documentaries I've had deleted by the censorship. I hope, against all odds, I'll get the domestic option to make some more videos for you. If not, see you all in hell.